Good day to everyone who've been waiting for this final ceremony of Grade 6 Peoples of Doña Asuncion Reyes Memorial Elementary School, my alumni, and of course to those who are currently watching this pre-recorded graduation. Also, good afternoon to our dear principal and teachers of Tarmes. I am deeply honored to be invited as your guest speaker for this school year and communicating with you all virtually. So with huge respect and acknowledgement, thank you for bringing me here. Everyone, I won't be communicating in English continuously sapagkat hindi po ako fluent at, and at the same time, hindi rin po ako magaling magtagalog. Kaya I'll be speaking with you all in Taglish. <laughs> Although this may be in deeper justification, um, I'll be speaking to you as to who I am and how I really communicate. Hence, I hope I will be able to inspire you, even like a pinch of salt. Sa mga hindi nakakakilala sa akin, I am Jillian Mary Argubot. I am the eldest in the family of Mr. and Mrs. Hill Torres Gubot and Normita Reynoso Gubot. My father is a retired police lieutenant, while my mother is currently the assistant budget officer in our local government unit of municipality of Pinamalayan. I have younger sister. She's currently in college at San Beda University. And just to add, I have cousins who are here listening and watching, finally graduating. Alright, going back to myself. <laughs> Those who know me since I was a kid go by my name as Jelly. And eventually, as I grow older, it became Jill. Siguro ganun nga, pati pangalan na develop mas nagiging mature kung tawagin. I belong to batch 2006 who graduated in Darmes. Ako po yung bata na nag-transfer from grade 1 in different school dahil sa nakalimutang sunduin, lumipat na lang sa mas malapit na school which is Darmes. And then when I was introducing myself in the room of Mrs. Avelino, there was one classmate na biglang lumapit sa akin at tinulak ako sa proof box. I don't know why, it's just funny now remembering it and it reminded us how innocent we were. Until natuto ako magtanim ng tama sa garden ni Sir Fitizanan sa likod ng room namin along Bonifacio Street. Until I was able to participate in different spelling bees and quizzes for different subjects to various schools in Oriental Mindoro. So, nagkaroon ako ng opportunities to visit different schools and meet different people. Until I pursue and continue dancing which is my main talent hanggang sa I experienced GS prom when I was in grade 5 and 6 and I graduated in the first honor um, our batch valedictorian was Mrs. Gian Balinong and our batch salutatorian was Mr. Cesar Dote there are things that I treasure the most when studying in Darmes and those are meeting different people and creating friendship which are my friends up until now parang more than a decade na yata kami friends hanggang ngayon discovering my talent with the help and support of my teachers of course and knowing or developing what kind of facets or subjects i'm great into then I took my high school in Immaculate Heart of Mary Academy and I had my bachelor degree in Human Resource Development Management in the Pontifical and Royal University of Santo Tomas in Manila. I have worked for more than five years in Human Resources from sourcing associate to recruiter to becoming senior HR as of the moment in Amazon which is an international company that focuses in e-commerce. Right now, I'm feeling apprehensive still because when I knew that being your guest speaker will push through after months have passed, I am still questioning myself. Am I already successful to be invited in this kind of event? Am I perceptive or capable enough to inspire these graduating students? But having these thoughts all over my head, there is one statement that I firmly believe and hold on to. Never ever measure your self-worth by your age, by years of your experience, by your likes and followers in social medias, by number of comments and shares in your posts. Never gauge your amor popra 
in someone else's verdict. Just be an influencer to and for yourself. Because at the end of the day, the way you see or speak to yourself matters the most. I hope that will enlighten you on the importance of making a stand. Okay, moving forward, in this speech, I am very grateful to discuss with you an important topic, living in this new normal. Ang ping natin ngayon ay kalidad ng edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa kabila ng pandemya. Marami tayong naging katanungan dyan initially and the most important wonder is to determine how quality and education can be sustained. Teachers have been forced to rethink how they teach when they engage students virtually and the vital ingredient of interaction has been jeopardized. Kumbaga nagkaroon ng failures and limitation. And also, teachers have lost the opportunity to ask students questions dynamically. And at the same time, students have lost the opportunity to further learn by asking questions. So both have lost the ability to confidently gauge their levels of engagement and motivation. Hanggang sa we adopted the online classes. For, to be particular, sa pupils ng Dharmas, I believe, are modules. However, nagkaroon ng advantages and disadvantages. Online learning has excited some students but bored others because of the following reasons. Una, may mga bata or pamilya in circumstances para magkaroon ng smartphones, wifi or data to use in online classes. Pangalawa, may mga bata na naninirahan sa kanilang tita or tito, lola or lolo, who has limited energy para maturuan pa sa modules. Pangatlo, may mga bata na ang magulang ay businessmen or may continuous na trabaho who has less time or in worst scenario, nasa malayong lugar. Hence, no one can and would spend so much hours in teaching their children and understanding what has been stated in modules. These are some of what I've experienced with my cousins and neighbors who were so much affected. Despite those situations, what can be done? Or should I ask, what has been done? Online education may complement the method of learning but cannot substitute it. Social and emotional learning like empathy, attention, collaboration, and negotiation Critical and creative thinking, growing awareness of multiple perspectives, and developing respect for others who are different are difficult to inculcate among students without face-to-face -face classroom teaching. Also, having said this, we have to understand that when, for any reason, be it a pandemic or any unforeseeable reason, online education may be a viable alternative provided that Teachers are sufficiently trained for offering online lessons using different digital platforms. Uh, proper methods for assessing the quality of the learners are developed and familiarized among both students and teachers. And adequate arrangements are made of imparting online education to differently abled students. And most importantly, careful consideration to students having unstable broadband facilities or internet connection and belonging in an economic group or with less support in the household. The fulfillment of these essential conditions would be able to create a sustainable alternative method of imparting quality education. Pero paano nga ba? We have to strive positively and turn this crisis into a driving force to provide quality education to all. Let's refrain from thinking that alternative methods aren't helpful sapagkat may reason behind it, behind everything that is happening. I'd like to share with you what I've learned in a research um, and that is in order for the youth of today to be ready to face the challenges of the near future we need critical thinking and innovation. Learning should not be conceived as mere acquisition of information and notions, but it should be seen as a process of personal development, 
through which each person can understand their strengths and weaknesses and acquire abilities accordingly. Learning isn't about being a passive hearer. Learning should be about human development, self-empowerment, and reaching high proficiency standards. Today, for you pupils, or should I say students, you must relish every single day of learning and honing your knowledge, skills, and abilities while appreciating the quality time with your family. This, by the near future, will fill your experience and development in becoming successful. Thank you for listening and watching our dear graduating students. Congratulations!